tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello, I don't know anything specific about biology and blood cells, etc. But uh, there are so there are so such a high demand for such kind of animations that I give you a, a little intro about how we can uh, proceed in order to let one blood cell flow through uh, a blood vein, I guess. Okay, uh, we. St go to uh, create surfaces here in this is the nerves world because we need a curve we pick this tool here go to the top window because this gives us a good overview and just just place four or five points right here so that's the curve in the perspective view I control D duplicate it and move the copy up duplicate it again move it to the right and a little bit lower and I duplicate it again and move it over here now I have four of them and I will create a, uh, a tube using these four curves before we actually create the tube uh, let's modify the curves just a little bit I select them all press the key F8 which gives me the uh, com components here and I just fiddle around with the components just a little bit I widen the opening here the end of our animation just quite a bit so the blood cell flows into the open now I need to select them in order one two three and four and I create a loft here it's under the modeling section under surfaces this is the top entry here loft creates a loft that's the surface we have from our four curves now currently we don't want to see the surface because we want to um, do something or work a little bit more with the curves that's why I go to show and deactivate the NURBS surfaces so they're still in the scene but I don't see them now let's pick this curve here and I want the blood cell to flow on that on a duplicate of that curve so I duplicate it with control D and move it a little bit down so that's going to be the path of our blood cell and uh, using the F8 key or the uh, or right mouse click I can just change it a little bit and uh, if you move the points a little bit uh, back and forth this is also interesting because it gives the whole flow a slightly different character uh, so right mouse click object mode this is the curve which I'll give a name to um, double click here uh, this is the blood curve so I can see blood curve and blood curve shape here now I duplicate that again that's going to be the curve for my camera and I move it a little bit down like this maybe I can tilt it like this rotate it just a little bit so it's in a slightly different position and I call that cam curve it's uh, c quite important because uh, it makes it easy to to pick these things later actually now now we create the blood cell why don't we see it because we have nerve surfaces deactivated so let's reactivate them and move the blood cell over here doesn't look like a blood cell uh, but with a proper shader a new material Arnold standard surface red It looks a little bit like bloodish, bloodish. And uh, what I'll do now, I go to the side window, this one for example, press the key F8, so I see the components, and I select those and those, 
and let's just scale them in. And that's basically what I guess a blood cell looks like, more or less. I could have picked the CVs a little bit more precisely, but uh, I think this is quite a nice structure here. Uh, let me just scale it down a little bit, make it a little bit more flat. Okay, it's uh, very nice to have this selected already. It's slightly too big for this channel, so let's make it smaller. And um, now we want to attach it to which curve? To the blood curve. So I uh, control select first. This is selected already with the control key. I select the blood curve, which is here inside. And now I need to go to animation because this is going to be about animation. Everything is static right now, but now it will move, start to move. And constrain motion paths because we want to uh, move our blood cell along that curve. It's a motion path. We can use the default settings. Now what it does is it starts here and then it flows all the way to the back and here it comes out again. Almost. Um, so that's our blood cell. When we go to the attribute editor we see next to the blood uh, uh, the nerve surface shape here um, the motion path. And the motion path um, has a U value which uh, controls basically the speed along that curve. We'll look into that a little bit later. But we, what we want to do is we want our blood cell to be a little bit more twisted. Um, and that's the front, up and side twist. And uh, we just uh, use whatever we like. Um, I press the control key and the middle mouse button and I get to this doesn't have an effect here this doesn't have an effect either but this does so the side twist 20 degrees for example is quite interesting uh, how about animating this side twist gets a key now we're at the beginning of the animation and uh, we make it 90 at the end of the animation set a key and in the middle we make it maybe 33. It just rotates a little bit. We can actually set it to minus 20 right here. That might be quite interesting. And set another key. Yeah, that's very nice. Now we need the camera. Uh, create camera cameras actually and we just choose the simple camera which sits in the center of the scene and um, with the control key we select the camera curve and we attach it with the same command to a motion path. Why is it sitting there? Because we're towards the end of our animation at the very beginning the camera sits right here. It's not exactly at the same position as the blood cell because it has a different uh, curve but it's more or less in the same position. We cannot move the camera now because it's fixed to that motion path but we can pick the motion path here which is our cam curve. Go to the F8 menu and here we have the CVs, the points on that curve. And now when we move this a little bit back, we also move the camera back. And um, when we, with the cursor key for example, we can move from one point to the next one. We can move this a little bit right here. So the camera will start not earlier in, in terms of time, but uh, slightly behind our blood cell, which is not bad at all. And uh, now we go to the motion path here. It's not the motion path we just checked with the blood cell. It's a different motion path. It's the motion path of the camera. And here we can change the twists here in order to get it in the proper direction. I always play with these parameters until they are right. And so this is not the proper one. This is not the proper one. But this is the proper one. So that's, I think, just okay. The camera follows our blood cell now. Now, of course, it would be interesting to look 
through the camera. So we choose any other window, go to Panels, and look through that camera. We're at the beginning of the animation. And we're at the end of the animation. I extend this a little bit so we can, uh, it stops at the end, so we can meditate on the end of this game. So there's something happening here with the camera and uh, we, we see the problem right here. The camera is too close to our blood cell. So we can delay it a little bit. And this is a nice thing to do as well. That's what I indicated to you just uh, a couple of minutes ago. Here you have the U value. Select this. It means you select the motion path. You don't select the curve, it's the motion path actually. And now when you go to Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor, you see the curve for that motion path. What we're going to do now, these two curves are totally different. This is a time curve, whereas this is a space curve here. Uh, but they are linked in a way uh, through the animation actually. Let's select that curve and with the right mouse button we insert a key here. If we want the movement of the camera to be a little bit behind, we just press the key W, which is the Move tool, we move it a little bit down. Has this changed anything? Well, we have our camera view right here. And it sure has changed something. It's still accelerating too much towards the end. And we can fix that in the same way as we fix the start of the animation. So let's pick the camera curve again. And we just move it a little bit back. And the same with the previous CV here. So um, now I think the animation should be all right. It's still too close. So let's move it a little bit further back. I think that's our final shot now. Quite nice indeed. And if you want to have four blood cells, you know how to handle them. Lighting that scene is something completely different and we won't get into this today. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.